What kind of solutions do we need for the youth of today or are required for the youth of today? Christ-like. Christ-like. But again, they are people who have the knowledge or awareness of their own limitations. It's not that we are sort of complete in ourselves. No, none of us. The other day, I think it was Father Johnny of Monshada who sent me a video clipping of the homily of a, of a bishop, archbishop in the Philippines. And he asked those very three important questions that four deacons was going to ordain as priests. He said, are you weak enough, the first question, are you weak enough to be a priest? Are you aware of your limitations so that you can always rely on the strength that comes from him? Are you weak enough? Very often we hear of the strengths. Are you strong enough? Are you good enough? So on. He starts the other way around. Look at your life from your limitations. Are you weak enough to be a priest? If you're not weak enough, you will not, you are not aware of your own weaknesses. And if you cannot accept this weakness and rely on the strength that comes from him, then you cannot be a priest. Only to the extent that you are aware of your own limitations, that we need to constantly renew ourselves. We are not self-sufficient. And ask for the grace that comes from him, to that extent, will be effective. And therefore, the first question is, therefore, the solution is required for today's world has to be Christ-like and who is aware of his own weaknesses, humble enough to accept them, courageous enough to change himself for the mission. <coughs> Secondly, the second question that Archbishop asked those ordinandi was, are you broken enough to be a priest? Are you broken enough? Can you accept suffering in your life? Or you say, no, 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 I can't accept suffering. And it says, in your formation time, the deacons, you were crushed. It was a process of crushing you. Going through suffering. But through that, you have been transformed. And in your lives as priests, it said, you will have this same brokenness to be experienced. He says in that homily, your archbishop may hurt you. We might say your superiors may hurt you. Your companion, brother priest may hurt you. You may be insulted, you may be humiliated, you may gossip about you, spread false rumors about you. Are you ready to accept it? Only then can you be priest without complaining. Are you broken enough be a priest. Or we might say, are you broken enough to be a Salesian? A consecrated person. Then you give power to Jesus over yourself and say, Lord, crush me. Break me. The time you break myself for the young people to whose service you sent. And the third question that Archbishop puts to these ordinandi is, are you afraid enough to be a priest. Which apt question could have been asked to Jeremiah. He was afraid. Are you afraid enough? Because if you're not afraid, then you will say, I am 100% virtuous. He said, you must be courageous enough to lay down your life for the Lord. And give the example of three priests who were shot dead in the Philippines. But you must be afraid to sin. You must be courageous enough to work for the Lord and His people, but you must be afraid or covered in a way to be away from Him, to be separated from Him. You must be courageous enough to be honest and afraid to be dishonest. Is there can't be discrepancy before, between your private life and your public life. The two must be going together. Are you 
afraid enough to be a priest. I would like to put these in this first context. What kind of salvation are you called to be for the youth of today? Those men of God, whom the Lord has chosen and who are aware of their limitations, who are ready to suffer with the Lord, and who are always brave and courageous to follow His way and afraid to go the wrong way. And therefore in all these, making Jesus the point of reference, going back to Him every day and drawing strength from Him as we would for our mobile phones from the electricity. We need charge every day. And to that extent, we will be effective. You will be effective solutions. And therefore, your model is Jesus the Good Shepherd. Your model is the Blessed Virgin Mary, who did God's will at all times. We have an example in modeling her. Your model is definitely St. John Bosco. St. John Bosco. And your model also, I would suggest, for gentleness, is St. Francis the Saints, a gentle saint. 